The next step in data sourcing is making data. And specifically, we're talking about getting new data. I like to think of this as you're getting your hands on and you're getting data de novo, new data. So can't find the data that you need for your analysis? Well, one simple solution is do it yourself. And we're going to talk about a few general strategies used for doing that. Now, these strategies vary on a few dimensions. First off is the role. Are you passive and simply observing stuff that's happening already? Or are you active where you play a role in creating the situation to get the data? And then there's the QQ question. And that is, are you going to get quantitative or numerical data? Or are you going to get qualitative data, which usually means text, paragraphs, sentences, as well as things like photos and videos and audio? And also, how are you going to get the data? Do you want to get it online? Or do you want to get it in person? Now, there's other choices than these, but these are some of the big delineators of the different methods. When you look at those, you get a few possible options. Number one is interviews, and I'll say more about those. Another one is surveys. A third one is card sorting. And the fourth one is an experiments, although I actually want to split experiments into two kinds of categories. The first one is laboratory experiments, and that's in person projects where you shape the information or an experience for the participants as a way of seeing how that involvement changes their reactions. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're a participant, but you create the situation. And then there's also A-B testing. This is automated online testing of two or more variations on a web page. It's a very, very simple kind of experimentation that's actually very useful for optimizing websites. So in sum, from this very short introduction, make sure you can get exactly what you need, get the data you need to answer your question. And if you can't find it somewhere, then make it. And as always, you have many possible methods, each of which have their own strengths, and their own compromises. And we'll talk about each of those in the following sections.